We're here in the Santa Rosa municipality in the district of San Isidro in the neighborhood of Sauce. This farm is called Villa Jorge. My dad was a person that was the only coffee grower who bought all the coffee that came out of the San Isidro region. We had a shop and my dad used to teach us how to plant and cultivate coffee. He taught all my brothers and me. We were 11. They all went to the city to study and I also left for Medellin for 20 years, but I came back here to live with my four children and my husband. My daughters live in the city of Medellin and study at the University of San Buenaventura. One just finished her degree in physical education and the other is doing her sixth semester in public accounting. The youngest here, who also wants to be a coffee grower, is 19 years old and just finished a technical degree in agricultural crops at the Sena, and he also likes automotive mechanics. This young man has a coffee crop planted in connection with a program from the Federation of Coffee Growers, who has sponsored 26 young people along with a nonprofit from Spain called ACODE, helping young people forge ahead with their crops and to not leave for the city. These kids are kids that are just finishing high school. There are also mothers in charge of families that have also joined the project. When I came back to the farm, I wanted to make a road, one that carts could access so that people could take out their fruits and so that one day a TV station could come to my farm. That is a dream coming true today. Thank you. For me, it's a great joy that all these television companies are looking to the country as the greatest thing in terms of our country's economy. Here in our rural neighborhoods and elsewhere, we have a lot of things to offer the country and to Antioquia, Colombia, and the world. Now I will invite you to come to the coffee plantation so you can see how it's picked, how it's dried, and how it's worked so that it can really comply with the norms it has to comply with, so that it can become a special coffee. We are here in the rural neighborhoods of San Isidro in the district of San Pablo. We're a coffee region. Coffee had a lot of force in the 90s. After coffee rust spread, people became discouraged and stopped cultivating coffee, but with the support of the Coffee Grow Federation, Coffee Growers Cooperative of Antioquia and the Santa Rosa Municipality, the coffee growers have regained their strength through programs that gave them support, such as with sacks of seeds and through continuous contact with extensionists from the Coffee Grow Federation, who visit each farm in order to support the coffee grower in technical areas, in agricultural technical areas.
Amar Leni Molina's husband. When we came to this farm, it was abandoned. It didn't have coffee. It didn't have anything. We started off with a few dairy cows. And as time went by, we found ourselves drenched in the countryside. So we started cultivating coffee. We used to buy the coffee and the dry parchment from the families in the area. And between the both of us, we would make the coffee and Marlene would get up early and sell it. That was done in a very traditional way because we ground the coffee in one of those arepa mills and we had to toast it with firewood. So in order to get five or six pounds worth of coffee, you had to work all day for that. As we would sell that, more was asked. I told Marleni that if that project were to grow, that coffee project, then we could get ahead. And we saw all that has helped us build a business. Yes, for us, it is about representing Colombia's special coffee. And so, guys, we have to pick quality. I started to transform the coffee and to take it to the supermarkets, shops, cafeterias, restaurants, and to a project called Mercasueño Campesino, where we ourselves sell our products each month directly to the businesses here in Santa Rosa. Coffee must be cultivated by lots, as I mentioned before, taking into account the varieties, for example, this is Castillo El Rosario. With it, we have coffee all year. It blossoms every 20 days, so we're going to pick coffee every 20 days. There are times when the harvest is plentiful and times that it's not. Right now, our crop is low or traviesa. What does traviesa mean? After collecting coffee during the harvest between October and January, you leave the small beans. Then in February, March, and April, you have the low crop, traviesas, until the coffee crop increases again. To involve the mothers who are heads of households, as well as all the youth, because we saw that this region has great potential for youth. We saw that young people were working day jobs, that is to say, jobs that pay wages by the day. So we started to look for them and have meetings here, small meetings between neighbors, in order to spread the little knowledge we had regarding coffee. They became encouraged because they saw that day wages weren't ideal. What was ideal was to get that coffee out and from it make money that differs from a daily wage. The youth themselves started to communicate this to their mothers, women who headed the household. All the friends' mothers learned of the project and were given lectures with the help of coffee-growing promoters as well as from the Federation of Coffee Growers. As we were learning from these groups, we also assessed the youth and the mothers who were heads of families. The project has been very good because the coffee is no longer just dried and sold. Now you process it, you grind it, or you make it into a rosary or into other handicrafts, making it more expensive. Since, if you're just going to sell it, the price will be low, so it's better to modify it in order to draw more resources out of the coffee. We all pitch in and we all struggle to get ahead with the tools the countryside gives us. I used to live in town and despite everything, I came to the country where I feel at home, where I enjoy everything and feel content. 
I have been with this project about special coffees for about a year. I'm a mother and head of my household. I work in order to give my daughter an education. Let's see, in the beginning it was very difficult because it hadn't been long since I lost my mother. But it's good because you start taking responsibility. I now know I have a daughter that I have to take care of, so I need to work in order to give her what she needs. Well, in this coffee region, we have generated an impact since the youth and mothers head of households have joined the project, which have been supported by a nonprofit from Spain, helping out our youth so that they wouldn't leave the country for the city and instead build business in their region. We're also excited about the special coffee project. At this time, there are various organizations supporting the project and the community has been united thanks to this project so that we can make each farm grow as a coffee business. That way, transforming the coffee, generating new jobs, and improving the overall quality of life for coffee growers. Hay que recogerlo todo el maduro. El pintón lo dejamos para dentro de 15 días como lo hemos venido haciendo. El máximo tiempo son 20 días, pero cuando hay sobremaduros hay que recolectarlos aparte, igual que el verde y los que se caen al suelo. Malani, entonces el café lo expulpamos por la tarde o a qué horas? Inmediatamente lo terminemos hoy, lo tenemos que expulpar para que mañana a primera hora le hagamos el lavado y lo llevemos para la marquesina. Ah, bueno, señora. It's not the seed that makes the coffee special. Here in this region, we have many varieties of coffee, like the Caturra, the 2000 variety, Castillo del Rosario coffee. But what makes coffee special is in how you handle it. From when you pick it, while it's completely ripe, to how it's helped along in the collection and drying process where it's left in the sun. That's how it becomes a special coffee. Not one seed is special. All varieties can be special. What is special in itself, however, is the climate. It's a climate of high altitude, and that gives a different taste from those of warmer climates. It also has flavors and aromas that are more with a concentrated aroma of cocoa, as in chocolate, making it a specialty here in Santa Rosa de Osos. Si no cumplimos con el pedido, vamos a perder clientela. Y como a medida que pasa el tiempo, se si aumentan los pedidos, tenemos que aumentar trabajadores. Los, los trabajadores, los que se unan al proyecto para que sacamos adelante todas estas familias de café. Pasado sacar nuestro, a nuestros hijos adelante. Sonia, para que le des estudio a la niña así como yo lo doy estudio en la universidad a las niñas. Mira que Laurita ya terminó la licenciatura en educación física. Bueno, la mía también va muy adelante, está estudiando y ya está en séptimo. Es muy importante que todas las mujeres saquemos nuestros hijos adelante. Y ahí vamos saliendo nosotros de principio de ella. There are many resources in the country that help you move forward. Not in the city, but in the country there are resources. And now with coffee, with all the things you can do, one can make these projects happen. Invite more people to come and find out just what it is we're doing. Since each person is their own boss, because it's their own business, they have the facility to study, to prepare themselves, to come back and not abandon the country, but strengthen it, so we can take care of the coffee grow roots we have within us. Also, for mothers in charge, 
When the coffee is harvested, they can sustain their children with the money they earn without abandoning them by going to the city, which is why the quality of life of our mothers and that of the youth has improved so much in this region. To unite and be part of these special coffee projects so that we can forge ahead and be united and help our children move forward so they can study, not stay at home, nor go into town. Let's not allow the country to finish. We talk to and spoil the coffee, like you do with animals. We tell it it looks nice, that it's dark, that we have to weed it, fertilize it, so that it can produce much more good quality coffee. They train and teach us how it is that we have to pick the coffee and to do things well and together. The important thing is for the neighborhood to be united. And I would properly explain to those co-workers and those who would be interested what the process is so they can understand what it is we're doing, so they can feel at home and continue working in agriculture. Ah, no, Vicilio, no baña la grabación. Ah, no, Vicilio. I think that the Sousa neighborhood is one single family. Look, right now we're taking care of the coffee, not drenching it in chemical products that can affect nutrition. Because coffee is part of your diet like chocolate, panela, milk. So if we spray it, we contaminate that cup of coffee. Yes, I like the coffee, the black coffee. The quality of this coffee is good because we ourselves are exporting it and know it's clean, that it contains no chemicals or any use of those things. Yes, I'm very happy with the kind of nature of the work I do with coffee because one is with the coffee and with nature as well. Here we are going to, for example, place the ripe coffee into the water so that we may remove the low quality and ripened beans. Sonia, por favor, me pasas el tuyo.
Sí, señorita. Bien pueda. Permiso. Te colaboro. Okay, guys, right now we're getting ready to leave for Natalia Zapata and Wilmar Taborda's farm in order to make jewelry and candy out of coffee. We're going with Sergio, who is my son, and we're going to tour several streams, stop at several farms, where there is also coffee planted. Ciro will also come with us because Ciro is this farm's companion. Ciro. Ciro.